Hello, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be, I guess, showing you my diamond painting journal. I've actually gotten asked questions about my diamond painting journal, so I figure I'll make a video hopefully answering all the questions I've gotten about it. So what I use for my diamond painting journal is just a, I guess it's a sketch diary. I got this from Walmart. I It's a uh, it's like an eight and a half by 11, so it's just like normal, I guess, letter size paper. But the reason I got this one was, I think this was like less than $3. And I did like the fact that it was spiral so I could have it open to the page that I'm currently working on. So yeah, it's so it's just, it's just a bunch of like blank paper. And what I liked about it is the paper is actually relatively thick. So, um, you don't, you can't really see what's written on the back because that's what's the problem sometimes when you, you know, write on like paper. If it's too thin, you could see what's on the other side on the other side. So yeah, so it is just, just a like sketchbook that I got from Walmart. Um, so I have been asked also about this. So this I actually made myself. I just you know, typed it up on some word processing software, you know, and then I printed it. So I actually print this um, eight to a page or six to a page um, on letter size. So normally it would be like this. And then I just cut it to size. I don't even, I don't even really care if it's not, what's it called? Evenly cut because you can't tell since I'm only putting it on one sheet at a time. And I just paste it on here i i could probably buy like full like sheet label labels or something and then just cut them but i haven't gotten that far so i've just been printing these out on regular paper <clears throat> and then pasting it onto the my journal so the stuff i put on this is i've already i've had multiple versions of this already like in the beginning i actually just wrote everything out i didn't make the um the template, I just wrote everything out. Um, in fact, I used to print these these finished pictures much bigger, but then I decided to um, print the finished picture like four to a page as opposed to two to a page. That's what I used to do here. Um, so yeah, I used to just write everything out. Okay, see, we still everything is written out. Um, when did I start making using that template? Let's see. See, I have a lot of diamond paintings completed. So let's see. Nope, I'm still, see, I was writing it out a long time. Okay, so it sound, looks like over here, um, around the 42nd diamond painting, I did start making a template. If you could see from this, this is actually a different template than the one I'm currently using. Um, but I put in the things I cared about. So I put, there's a space at the top to just write a title for the diamond painting. But even if this space wasn't there, I could just write it directly on the, on the, what's it called? On the page. But this was mainly because when I used to write it out myself, I would forget to add some of this information. And this is the information for some reason that I care about. So I care about, like, I named the diamond painting, and then I care about where I got it. I care about when I ordered it and when it was delivered, just because sometimes I'm just like, okay, this is such an old diamond painting, I need to do it. And then the size here, I normally would put in what their advertised size was, and then um, what it actually is when I measured it myself, because I care about that. Um, and then I just kind of put in what kind of glue there is, and then I started putting in, like, a more fancier way of the drills. I used to write it out, but then, I don't know, I decided to be a little fancy and put abbreviations. So I would just underline which one it is, and I and then I would just underline DMC or cross it out if there's no DMCs. And the reason I made colors just one big um, empty spot is um, like in this snowman family, I did kind of want to write down that there were 26 colors in all. And then I wanted to say that there were three ABs and seven rhinestones. So me at making colors, just one long sh like place gave, gave me the space to put it in. So I also put in a started. So like that's when I actually start diamond painting and a, a finish. 
So I don't really time how long it takes me to do a diamond painting other than how many days it took me to diamond paint because I kind of don't want to know how many hours I've worked on something. And plus that seems like too much effort to, to um, what's it called, figure out how many hours you worked on something. So this next line drilled is just like the days I drilled something. So here I wrote down that I... I started on 11.6, so I wrote down I drilled on 11.6, 6, 6, 7, 15, 16, 17, 18. And then I kind of like to total up the days at the end, so I would write six days after I was done. So I used to just write like like little tick marks. I don't know if I have an example of that where I used to just write tick marks and then, but it got too hard to to remember if I did the tick marks. So yeah, oops. So like for here, I used to just do like little tick marks, but like it, like I said, it got too hard for me to remember if I put the tick marks. So I started just writing in the day. So this was back when I still was just writing everything in. Um, so yeah, no, the, so my, yeah, this thing just has gotten different. You know, I just keep like, so I would only usually print these like one sheet at a time and then and then I'll be like, okay, I don't like something and then I'll fix it. And then I'll just keep doing something until it gets to whatever I, the template I like. So I am going to link this template that I made for this um, in the description box. It should be in my Google Drive and I'm linking to the Google Drive document and it's a PDF. So you should just be able to print it if you like. And I think I put in two, Two templates, one for letter size paper, which is the six per page, and one for legal size paper, which is eight per page, because I've, I've used both depending on what I feel like. But I only print them like eight at a time just in case I decide like the next time I print it, I wanted to change something on this. But I do have my current version um, linked below in case you want to um, print out one yourself. So yeah. So yeah, that's pretty much... So, oh yeah, and someone else asked me how I get these, these um, thumbnails. And well, I pretty much just, okay, so when I order something, I actually print out the thumbnail from the actual website where I ordered it from. So most of the time I would just use the, if first I would try to see if I could right click on the image and save the image. And if I can't, then I would use my snipping tool on like, I think it's just a normal Windows tool, like the little snipping tool. And I would just take the screen, like take a snippet of the screen to get these thumbnails. And then I would print these. I would normally kind of print these like three at a time at least. Just because that's what fits on like a, on a letter size paper. So I would put like print three of these at a time and then at least, so then, and then I would just keep the small pieces of paper and then I would just reinsert this into my printer if I only am printing a certain amount. So yeah, so at some point, maybe I printed out six and then at some point I only printed out three and I didn't see this. So I do keep my paper so that I could just re like reinsert this. So I usually do try to print these three at a time. These are like wallet size paper or like trading card size. So I think these are like 2.5 by 3.5 inches. I just, I would just use like, I would just, I don't want to stretch it. So I usually just put whatever is makes more sense. So like when I copy and paste it onto something, I would edit the picture to say that I want one side to be 2.5 or something or 3.5, depending on what will fit. So that's why, so like, so like these longer pictures, obviously I couldn't do a 2.5 wide, but I could do 3.5 height. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I get these thumbnails. Oh, and at some point um, I did get a little fancy. Let me just take it out. So, oh, and I keep these in um, what do you call it? baseball card holders in like just a, this is just a folder with the three whole binder stuff. So I, yeah, so that's, 
I keep all my thumbnails here and these are all just kind of in order of how I ordered them. And um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, let me pick a, let me just pick the first one here. So at some point I actually kind of got fancy and I print, like I, I keep a spreadsheet of all my diamond painting orders. And um, so then when I was writing these out, I just kind of got lazy. So let me try to find one. Well, it's not yet done, but I kind of got lazy. So I started, I got my inventory and I started printing out these labels for from my inventory so I didn't have to write down this information. But that's just me being a little, yeah. But when it's something like I've just got or something and so I would just write it in like, so yeah, that's just me being like, I just use mail merge from my spreadsheet and put it on labels and I am not going to teach you how to use mail merge because that is beyond my teaching, but there's probably 50 million YouTube videos that will teach you how to use mail merge from an Excel spreadsheet or any sort of spreadsheet, but yeah. I think I've been rambling a little bit, but but yeah, so that's pretty much my template. I'll give links to, below to my Google Drive PDF version of this template so you could print it out yourself. And then I also do print out the um, finished picture after I'm done, but I usually wait until I have four done because I put four to a page. So. Um, sometimes when I do my completion review, it just happens to be when there's four done. So then I'll actually have the finished picture, but then sometimes I would do a completion review and it would just have this information, but not the picture because I haven't picked, printed it yet. Oh, and I also did start saving the, the legend from the diamond painting too. So this is a new thing that I did. I kind of wish I did it from the beginning, but it's just some, I usually just end up cutting this from the canvas. So yeah, I don't know. I think I might've made this a really, really unorganized video, but I think I showed you everything. I, I do put these tabs. So this is everything that I have. So not all of these are whips. Some of these are, I'm just waiting to get four done so I could print the finished picture. Or some of them are, I have to go record the completion video and I still haven't done it. Um, so, so yeah, I keep the tabs to keep track. Oh yeah, and I forgot. So at some point I was keeping track of how many I've completed. So in the beginning when, since I started diamond painting in 2020, I was just, um, just pretty much using the page number so I also been t writing a, a page number in the bottom to keep track of my finishes, but it's not always true because sometimes you end up like, see like this one, it's on, I don't know if you can tell it's page 22, but it's my finish 21. So somewhere in here, I, I started something and I didn't finish it. And it's probably this peacock. See, this peacock was actually my 18th start, but it was my 49th finish. <laughs> So, so it was easier for me to keep track of which finish I was by having, um, by just putting the sticker on. So I would actually write down, um, all the numbers sequentially. And then when I was done, I would just get the sticker because sometimes I couldn't remember which finish I was on, you know? So, so I do make, I made a label for how many diamond paintings I've completed. Also, obviously I've already completed 64 at the point of me making this video. And then I started also making, I also kind of wanted to know how much I did in 2021. So I made an actual, I guess, label, finished label for my 20, 2021 one. So I finished so far based off of what's in these labels, I've finished 64 diamond paintings in all since I started. And in 2021, I've done 12. So you might not have seen them all. I don't think I've recorded all the videos yet for the reviews, but but yeah, I did. I was actually going to fill this up, but then I was like, wait, what if I don't do that many in 2021? So I didn't, I didn't want to be like presumptuous that I would finish like that many in 2021. So I've just been kind of adding like, you know, a little bit at a time, but yeah, there is how I do my diamond painting journal. 
Um, I think I might have answered all questions that someone has asked in comments, but oh yeah, and I yeah. Did I say that these were just paper and I just pasted? Yeah, this I could get labels, but yeah, lazy. And I think, yeah, I don't know why I don't have labels. I could just get full sheet labels instead of pasting, but that's what I had at home. All right, so <laughs> I think I started rambling already. All right, so I hope that I've answered questions about my diamond painting journal. And if anyone else has any requests for future like videos, um, let me know in the comments because it gives me ideas. All right. Thank you for watching and happy diamond painting. Bye.